I don't like the idea of airing our dirty laundry in public. Your dirty laundry, Wally. It's your dirty laundry, not mine. Wally, don't worry. I'm a trained professional. Nothing you say goes beyond these walls. <sighs> Thank goodness the public will be spared. For years, I've tried reasoning with him, but he won't make the slightest effort no, to change. No, for years you have nagged and nagged. I'm sorry, Herr General, but I'm not marching to your orders. Picking your smelly socks up off the floor is not marching to my orders. It's behaving like a civilized human being. I, I, I realize that's a I tricky concept for you, Wally, I keep telling you I'm going to pick the socks up, but you never give me a chance. Wally, I admit, after three days, I unthinkingly picked them up. Sorry for rushing you. Three days? Three hours? Hell, I'd, I'd be surprised if you lasted three minutes. I keep telling you the floor is phase one, but before I get to phase two, the socks are never there. Why do you need phases? I mean, why can't you just throw your dirty clothes directly into the laundry bin like everyone else? What's this everyone else? I mean, it's just you and me, right? Who's everyone else? Everyone else, Wally. People in general. <laughs> they put their dirty laundry into the laundry bin. They don't strew it all over the place first with, what did you call it once? Preliminary positioning. Temporary preliminary positioning. The operative word is temporary. Oh, that's so funny, Wally. Face it, you're a slob. I am not a slob. I'm just not a bug-eyed neat freak like you. I mean, you never stop cleaning. What were you, raised by cats or something? I am not a neat freak. I'm just neat. Neat? Hell, you iron sheets. For God's sakes, you think a couple of wrinkles in a sheet that no one is ever going to see is going to turn our bedroom into a dump? I see them. And I like clean, wrinkle-free sheets. It adds to the pleasure of getting into bed. But of course, you wouldn't understand that. You don't even think it's worth bothering to make the bed. Well, no, not first thing in the morning like you do. I generally like to relieve myself and brush my teeth first. Okay, fine. What about the dishes? You can do those at night. When was the last time you washed the dishes? We have or a dishwasher. Or, or washed the car. Or washed a window. I don't need to wash the damn car. I don't do windows. You don't do anything. You're a slob. Hasn't anyone ever told you that cleanliness oh, is next no, to godliness? Oh, no, here it comes. Cleanliness is next to godliness. What the hell does that mean? You think washing a few dishes beats feeding the poor or a good vacuuming beats curing malaria? St. Peter is not waiting at the pearly gates to see if you got rid of the ring around the bathtub, trust me. Well, maybe not, but I hope he asks you to wipe your feet before you go trepping mud and Oh, you know, so you should thank me, because I'm just God giving you a little more to clean so you'll be you a little more home. godly. I get the impression this has become something of a contest between the two of you. One insists on being a tad messy. What, what, what a, a, a tad? Okay, overly messy. Whoa. While the other insists on being a bit more neat than is necessary. A bit more neat than necessary. She lies all doorknobs. That's psychotic. I think this is a power struggle at this point. Why don't we try to find some kind of compromise to defuse the situation? Wally, is there some little bit of cleanliness that you'd be willing to do that Cindy might appreciate? Fine. Maybe I can push phase two a little bit closer to phase one. Excellent. Cindy, how about you? Could you be a little less neat in a way that Wally would appreciate? Yeah, sure. I can give up phase three. Fine. I can give up phase three and stop washing his socks altogether. They can stiffen up and walk to Tacoma by themselves for all I care. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. Okay, so we're at least taking a step in the right direction here. Hold on! You can't give up phase three. Phase three's important. I'll tell you what, why don't you give up polishing the garbage cans instead? <laughs> 